think I'm live on uh, YouTube. YouTube, we're rocking and rolling. Let's get uh, let's see if we can get Facebook up and rolling. Getting close. Getting close. Got the uh, loading circle. All right. I think we're loaded. Ready to go. I'm live both both formats. All right, there's a couple links I just dropped in there. Um, I'm rocking and rolling live on both uh, YouTube and Facebook. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, we'll hang tight here for just a little bit and um, let everybody get checked in again um, with changing format. Um, if you're out there and you're uh, you're checking in, be sure and uh, leave me a comment. Um, I don't really know if you're uh, you're out there or not until you drop me a comment. So just uh, stop in and say hi. Yo, Trip Harrison, back at you. All right. Let's just keep it rolling. So let's. Um, what do we got on the agenda today? So I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm kind of just rolling with a pretty loose schedule today. Um, I've got a couple of items. I've got four or five items. Most of them are pretty small. Um, nothing significant that we haven't already talked about. And i um, just going to talk about a few things and see how things play out. And we'll, uh, we'll get done and get out of here. So Jennifer Black, hola, back at you. Um, so just basic agenda. I just want to do a quick reminder of the schedule change that I announced last week. And then I posted about today, um, on the, um, uh, to the dirt, uh, uh, Facebook page. And then I'm going to just talk about a few random items, uh, a couple of events, um, uh, dirt create events. Um, going to talk about uh, a page of mine that I've been um, fiddling around with and a bunch of people are, I think we've got, I don't know, we've got quite a few member of several hundred at this point um, uh, called roadside absurdities um, that I've kind of, kind of worked together with, uh, with Forrest Smith on to create. And it's just a, it's a cycling page all about fun. We'll talk about it. Um, hence the cheese balls. Um, I have snacks. So, uh, and they even have my name custom written on it. So, you know, and got a little bicycle and everything. So, so we've got cheese puff, cheese balls uh, ready to eat. Uh, get it lined there perfectly. Uh, greetings, Jeremy Black. What's happening? And then we're going to finish it up. And we're going to talk about Skip. So uh, we'll tell you what Skip stands for, uh, why I'm talking about it, and uh, what they got going on out there in Midwest City. So pretty cool stuff. And uh Pretty cool that both Jennifer and Jeremy Black are on because I know they're part of that. So we'll talk about that. We're probably going to hold that off to last since that's going to be my main subject and um, go from there. So Again, I just want to let all you guys and gals know if you're out there listening and you want me to know you're there, uh, be sure and uh, leave me a comment. Um, the, new, uh, the new system, the new interface doesn't let me see you when you just join like they used to, unfortunately. I'm going to also throw out, too, since um, I think I'm going to be um, pretty open to discussing whatever. If you guys have questions or things you want to talk about, then for sure let me know. I'll try to address them. Um, and uh, we'll just kind of go from there. So, All right, let's get to business. 3.45 uh, in, almost four minutes. So let's do this. What do I got over here? Let me see. Can't see that. I was just checking my YouTube channel there, so sorry about that. I'm back. Um, so I want to start off with the same topic that um, I think I led with. I don't know. I'm not finished with. It. I can't remember. I, last week, I can't remember what order it was in, but um, I did uh, post it today, uh, non-video, just text, um, so that everybody can share it and and see it. Um, I'll get my actual event page on OKTDD.org uh, updated tomorrow uh, morning. And um, I just haven't done that. I've been kind of on a little vacation, so I haven't really been home until, I don't know, sometime early this afternoon. Um, I've been gone since probably Wednesday last week. Uh, 
did several things, um, doing some family time and, uh, all of that good stuff. So, um, doing 4th of July with my parents and then 4th of July with my ex-in-laws and my girlfriend and, uh, doing some floating the river, sleeping on a boat at Grand Lake and watching fireworks in Hydro, uh, America. So, um, been a pretty busy, but uh, fun little, uh, week slash weekend. So, and now I'm back here, do a little business tonight, do a little business for work tomorrow or the next, uh, next couple of days. And then who knows what I'll do next weekend. So my ex-wife is getting married next weekend. So I may have to go attend her uh, wedding. So that'd be my boy's mom, not like my ex-wife, ex-wife. That's my boy's mom. So we still actually get along. <laughs> Especially now that our boys are all grown. Uh, reminder, uh, turn to dirt schedule change. Turkey Mountain, um, just due to a whole variety of reasons, uh, things happening in Tulsa, permitting issues in Tulsa, the uh, upfront money that they have to invest really to promote this race. Um, and then on top of that, having the possibility that they couldn't even get a permit, they didn't want to risk it. I don't blame them. Uh, we both agreed um, that we will just uh, cancel Turkey uh, this year and we'll bring them back next year uh, when hopefully everything has uh, gone back to normal. Fingers crossed. Uh, we will see. Uh, it, 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 maybe it hasn't um, gone back to normal by then, but uh, you know that's what we're hoping for. And we'll just kind of roll with that until life tells us differently. However, the big announcement last week was that we no longer are going to have an open weekend on that October 4th date. We are going to keep that day. We're just going to change the venue. We have a venue that's a little less sensitive, uh, more open, um, smaller uh, space, when it, especially when it comes to uh, uh, user group access and user groups. And so I think that we're going to be able to I mean, again, unless things change, we're going to be able to safely and successfully have an event there in October. Um, and so that's the direction that I'm planning. This new venue is going to be just outside of Guthrie. Um, it's really just, um, I, I guess, south and west or south south and southwest of Guthrie. I mean, it's actually, I think, considered part of Guthrie. Um, there's a little community out there, um, and it's uh, called Lake Liberty. So Lake Liberty, just outside of Guthrie, a um, little small community, a pretty neat little lake. We've been through there a couple of times. Uh, uh, land run, I think a couple years ago, three. I can't remember. I get all, I'm sorry, Mid-South. Um, I get all those mixed up. I can't remember exactly what years we went through there. And then uh, last year for the G3 that uh, Ray Trammell did, um, we went through there on one of the G3s. So um, it's a pretty neat little place. We only got a small glimpse of it as, as we blaze through on the, the gravel bikes. Um, but pretty neat place. And they've got, um, I think like four and a half, five miles of trail. Um, it's multi-use and, uh, they're working on, um, updating that. Their goal is to get like six, 6.5 miles. They're working on that as we speak. Um, the goal is to then get some more single track and, uh, it should be fairly, um, Easy, easy course, less technical, um, um, but a pretty neat venue, pretty neat lake, pretty neat um, area to camp and hang out and a um, variety of things. So um, I think it could be fun. And uh, that's that's our plan. So keep that October 4th date open, but just plan on heading into the Guthrie area instead. So um, and we'll have more more information as things play out. Uh, I'm currently working with. Um, a couple of people on this, um, and uh, Justin Fortney and uh, and Ray Trammell, and I'm sure they've involved others as well too. And um, but right now, those are my two main contacts. So, but as as, as things progress and as things happen um, over the next month, we'll uh, get information out. And uh, yeah, so anyway, more racing. Um, and then again, I just want to talk about, you know, my idea or my thoughts um, heading into September and October for racing. 
Uh, we managed to pull off RDR uh, successfully. I felt it was done in a safe manner. I uh, felt we, you know, I've done a kind of an evaluation with a, a, a few close colleagues as well as my board and as well as my officials. And uh, we feel like there probably could be some things that we could do better. And we will uh, do that. We will approach those things and um, with our uh, upcoming promoters. Um, but we're just going to wait and evaluate that. I have that list. Um, uh, we don't have to work on it now. We have a few weeks. I don't see things changing significantly um, outside of the direction that they're going. Unfortunately, that direction is not going the way that we had, we had hoped. Um, although, unfortunately, it's kind of going the way that I anticipated. Um, I'm not really shocked about it. And, um, you know, there's an exponential mathematical feature here, though, that I don't I don't see it turning right now because of the just the math. <laughs> um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. So but my idea with Tour de Dirt, um, our races, I'm planning forward. I'm planning to move with them. Um, and then I'm just evaluating the situation as it happens. I'm not going to just uh, blanket cancel an entire series. Although I will admit that if worst uh, case scenario occurs, I'm not hesitant to cancel the entire series. So, um, but just know that um, if there's a possible way to do it and do it safely, we will race. And um, if that becomes something that we can't do, then we'll address that and we'll move on. So that's my thoughts. That's my plan. Um, so we'll see. All righty. Um, next topic, just a couple of fun little things. So, again, um, if you guys are out there and you're listening and you're checking in, uh, be sure and say hi. Be sure and leave a comment. I can't see you're out there unless you uh, say something to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's my son's dog. Uh, he hates me, but my son's outside, so that's why he stops right here in front of me. Let's see if he comes over here. He's like really close. We'll watch. I'll touch. Nope. And he runs. So that's normal. He runs from me. He hates me. I've yet to be able to pet him unless, like, my son is actually holding him uh, on a leash. So, oh, well. Uh, ba -ba -ba just a couple fun things. Uh, we've got a couple dirt crits going on. Um, numbers are pretty thin, so it's still fairly safe. Um, I don't know the time frame for the Wichita Falls Thermal Thursday, but I'm thinking it's 6:30. Could be wrong on that, but we can you can look that up. It's going to be 6:30. I'm pretty sure, but um, it could be could be six, could be seven. Um, I don't know why 6:30 is in my head, but um, it's in that ballpark. Uh, we also have um, uh, Thunderbird Thursday, so we've got Thermal Thursday, Thunderbird Thursday, so uh, gets a, gives an option for doing some dirt crit uh, for uh, no matter where you're at. And um, the uh, Thunderbird Thursday is at seven o'clock. I did look, I did, I saw that one on their event page right before I logged on. So um, I think they both follow a very similar format. I think the Thunder Thursday or the Thunderbird Thursday does they do 45 minutes. Uh, dirt crit, probably a mass start is my guess. And uh, then you do 45 plus one lap. So it's going to be pretty warm. It's going to be pretty fast. So bring the big gear if you're a single speeder. And uh, same with uh, Thermal Thursday. I think they do. I don't, I don't know if they do 45 minutes, but I think they do at least 35 or 40 minutes. They may do 45, but it's probably the same format. 35, 40, 45 minutes plus one lap. So both are similar. Uh, same thing, mass start. Everybody's racing everybody. And then you just kind of see where the cards fall. So racing full gas and nice Oklahoma heat. So uh, consider it lovely. Have all kinds of noise going on. I've got a truck backing up outside and the dog running back and forth and shaking his collar, which you guys can probably hear. So... Um, so yeah, so those two, uh, two short tracks should be pretty fun. So, um, hope you guys, if you're in the neighborhood, um, feel free to jump in and enjoy those guys. Um, I haven't been able to make one yet, but, um, 
I'm going to try in the near future for sure. Um, finally getting my fitness back a little bit. So I think I could actually do a dirt crit and maybe not die. So, oh yeah, let me get a little natty light here. Mm. Oh yeah, matter day for the win. And a little coop uh, focus, you know, uh, for the for the win there, the logo. Um, let's see what do we have here. Oh yeah, so I posted a link. Um, I posted it on both the uh, um, YouTube and on the very first comment on my page, and it's uh, roadside absurdities. Um, been talking about this a little bit. I've talked about it before, and so I welcome all you guys to click the link. Uh, join uh, it does require me, the moderator, to add you. Um, shouldn't be a problem. There's a question you have to answer. I can't remember what the question is, but it's something dumb. Basically, it's just a question for me to figure out if you're a real person or not. Most of you guys I know, but a lot of people I don't. Um, you get a lot of bots that are automatically asking for uh, membership in all these groups. So that's why I do the question. Um, doesn't matter what your answer is. Just answer anything. And... Uh, just the sheer fact of you answering the question uh, lets me know that you're a real person and you're not like a computer bot just trying to join the group. But it's Roadside Absurdities. Uh, check it out. Check the link. Uh, the link is, again, in the comments at the very top, uh, along with my uh, Weekly Wizard Update event page link. So if you're not part of my event page that I've, I've got a repeat uh, event page set up, so be sure and check that out. And that way you get a reminder, uh, go, go like that or uh, whatever it is on that, uh, you know, say you're going to that event and it will give you an update, let you know when it, when the, the, uh, the next event is coming up. So again, I do it every Tuesday at eight, but, um, that way you have a reminder in case you're out doing something, you forget about it. But roadside absurdities is fun. So basically, um, my good buddy Forrest Smith. Uh, a few of you guys that are old school uh, remember Forrest, but we have so many new folks that um, Forrest has been gone a while. Uh, Forrest uh, was my uh, role model when it came to racing way back in the day when I first entered Cat 1. Uh, he used to annihilate me, and uh, it's just kind of the way it worked. And uh, gradually I grew into a racer, but by the time I finally did that, um, he had already moved on to uh, Wisconsin, go work for the uh, main Trek um, corporate office, doing his bike thing. And uh, but still, nonetheless, we've uh, stayed in touch, uh, especially through social media. And one of the one of the things that uh, Forrest has always done is, uh, as well as race race his bike and race it fast, he's always had a really really good time riding his bike. And so I think for me. I love doing that. I love racing. I love having a good time. And um, just some of the uh, the fun things that we do uh, while we ride our bike make it all even more fun. And one of the things that Forrest started way back in the day and used to joke about, and it always kind of got a chuckle out of me and something that I tried to follow up on was uh, he'd be out on a ride and his goal was to find ditch porn. So that was, you know, if you find the lucky, ma you know, dirty magazine of, you know, porn, and you could take a picture of it in the ditch. Um, that was your uh, hashtag ditch porn. So unfortunately, with everything being digital, we don't get a lot of that. So um, with the ditch porn idea, we created uh, what's called roadside absurdities. And the gamut is open. And the idea is to be serious slash fun slash goofy slash creative. And we've invited a, a bunch of people, and I, I can't remember how many members we have, but I think we have, um, I don't know, I think we have a couple hundred members. So if you guys just want something else that's fun, um, uh, it involves riding a bike, but it's not really about racing and training. It's just about uh, goofy, fun pictures. And the whole idea is, is that we see all kinds of crazy, weird, funny, hilarious, dirty, gross um, upsetting weird things while we ride our bike and instead of just being knuckleheads and riding our bikes and just blowing by and forgetting about it stop and enjoy the moment take a picture 
stop and get in a pink and white princess car for a five-year-old and get someone to take a picture of you while you sit in it. That's perfect. You know, um, the stuffed animal that's had a, a really bad day uh, on the side of the road, as Kevin Wagner posted earlier today. <laughs> Just goofy stuff. It's fun. So roadside absurdities. Join. Click the link. Come have fun. Come take some pictures. Uh, change your ride. Uh, make your ride more fun. So. Oh, wow. I have not been scrolling. I have a lot of people on here, and I just didn't even realize it. That's what I get for not scrolling. <laughs> uh, Forrest Smith says, hey, Okies. What's up, foe? You're an Okie, too, so don't even give us that crap about high Okies. <laughs> Jeremy Black says, nice balls. You got it. Notice that they're half empty, so... Uh, I had to have a snack on the way home today, so I kind of dug into the box. And then I ate some earlier, and my stomach was killing me. But, man, these stupid things. This is kind of Brent White's fault. If, you're, if, if any of you know Brent White, tell him, like, give him a big screw you. Because it's this is he started this crap. It's his fault. Brent White, it's your fault. Mark Wallace, what's happening? Mike Pickle says greeting. greetings. Greetings. Uh, Hannah Bogowski says, hey, all caps. Hey, Hannah. Her Brown finally tried the peanut butter whiskey you were talking about. Where has that been all my life? Her Brown. I've been telling you this. It is. I haven't had any for a while, but it it is delicious. Delicious. I need to get me some of that. I think I've been probably two months without any, so I'm going to have to remedy that for the next show. I'll remedy that for next week, Herb, just for you. Because you're right, that is some good stuff. Ha, folks, says sweet balls, dude. You know it. Daniel Lemons is in the house. Hey, well, Daniel, you've probably already answered because I'm so – oh, there you go. You've already answered. 6 p.m. for the uh, Wichita Falls uh, Dirt Crit uh, Thermal Thursday. And Jeremy Coleman says, what's up? Jeremy Coleman, dude, that table that you made is badass. You need to, like – I don't know. I just I just kind of caught like the tail end of it like earlier this week. And then I saw uh, Karina posted the final product today. So that is a badass. So for you guys, don't Jeremy like made this handmade uh, dinner table for his family. That's all I'm going to say, because I don't I mean, I'll, I won't do it justice, but because I'm not a woodworker, but. It's pretty it was pretty unbelievably beautiful. So that is awesome work. Derek Gosser, how will it work? Do they close the trails for other multi-users? It's pretty equestrian heavy. Uh, Derek is talking about uh, Liberty Lake. And you are correct. It is a multi-use trail, equestrian and cycling. Um, uh, I don't know what we're going to do, but we'll work something out. Um, a lot of it is I think they're looking at building trail that is not the main part of the, the areas that the, uh, the horses use. And... Um, and then we're just going to go from there. If we permit an event and knock on wood, one of the permitters actually works for the city, uh, for the tourism department or the tourism part of Guthrie. So we have a connection to the city. So I think we will be able to get it permitted. And if permitted, then we will have the ability to um, solely use that trail during the permit. Um, so, yeah. So that's the plan. Um, it's a work in progress, but, you know, we, we have a lot of work in progresses and that turn out really well. And I know the people involved here, so I know they're all pretty solid. And um, I know that we'll get things done. So, Jerry Black says, a loop for Thunderbird Thursday is short, super fast and flowy, lots of fun. So, uh, Daniel Lemon says for Thermal Thursday, 45-minute mass start. So 45-minute and then probably plus one somehow. Easy. Or they do 45 minutes and then they give you a, a countdown to like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So Carolyn Fairless, join. What's happened to Carolyn? Carolyn, um, haven't seen you in for a while. Good to, good to see you checking in. Aloha to Karen, uh, Karina Coleman. 
Forrest misses roadside absurdities for the win. Yeah, Forrest, that's been some fun. There's been some people on there posting some really, really good stuff. Um, one that I really, really enjoyed was it was it was a few weeks ago, and uh, I can't even remember who posted it. And I'm not even um, I, 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 I a lot of these people are newer and uh, they're not you know not really like right in my wheelhouse. Um, but someone took a creative shot, and so. Uh, it was a picture uh, of a fishing pole with a bobber on it, but it, it, they used depth to make the picture. So the fishing pole was real close to them, and they placed the bobber, and then way in the background was a uh, truck, or a, I mean a pickup with, a, you know, like a, um, a tow truck, a tow truck in the background, pretty far away, like a, like a block away. And they placed the bobber like it was hanging on the back of the uh, tow truck, like the tow truck was holding it, and it and it, they made a fishing comment. It was like, you know, wishful thinking. So it's a real creative piece there. I thought that was pretty fun. So um, anyway, so there's all kinds of fun stuff on that red side of Zerdy. So you guys click the link at the very top or very bottom. I don't know if it's going to be top or bottom. It's like the first comment. I don't know how the comments play out in your feed, whether it's top or bottom, but for sure do it. Forrest says, the last road porn I found was last year in Flagstaff. It was a DVD set. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we're probably not going to find many material like paper products anymore. So, Darren Paoli, what's happening? Darren, I've been like checking checking out some of your rides, man. You've been like, you've been still killing it. Darren's a old friend of mine from like high school. And uh, how we started probably back in junior high, back with basketball camp and stuff. And um, he's now like a crazy gravel guy, does DK, not this year. <laughs> and, uh, Riding, riding gravel like crazy up in Kansas. So, Darren, good to see you. Glad you checked in, man. Uh, Jeremy says, back back again. His computer was acting up. Ah, uh, Jeremy says, it was a piece of wood you brought back from Hawaii. Awesome. That was a, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty amazing. So, that was a good, a good project that you did, though. You did. Mike Pickle says, I missed the bone shaker rides. I don't know if I've done any of those yet. I just. I get, had too many irons in, my, in the fire, and of course now all those things are not happening. So, okay, wow, thanks for uh, checking in, guys. And uh, man, I uh, I still have some topics to go, but I I just kept thinking no one was checking in. And I guess my scroll bar it doesn't. I have to scroll manually now. It, like it doesn't. And before it would kind of like tick up on me. So now it's like I have to pay attention. So back at you, Darren. Good, glad you're checking in. Let's see. Um, yeah, roadside absurdities. We've already made fun, and I can turn it around here, and it says, "Don't touch, don't touch the cheese balls." <laughs> All righty, I want to I want to close with one subject, and Stephen Cordes, suck it, suck it hard. It's twenty seven fifty five. I've got one topic left. We're gonna be done in less than forty five, unless somebody comes up with a crazy topic that gets me on the soapbox then you might be able to come back on me. <laughs> Sorry if you guys, I'm not really mad at Stephen Cordes. I'm just really joking around. We, uh, we joked around. He joked around earlier. Cause I always say I'm going to go short. I always say I'm going to have a short show and then I'm long winded and I talk a whole bunch. Um, and so then I drag it out and I always go over. So, and Cordes knows that and he was giving me crap earlier. So anyway, we're just joking with each other. I'm not, I'm not really, not really making a big deal about it. So final subject, skip. What is skip? What does that stand for? Um, what are we talking about? Some of you guys know skip is a little trail that began development about three or four years ago over in Midwest city. Um, mainly through um, a friend of, of ours and OEF and um, just in cycling in general. I've known Pete pretty much my whole cycling life uh, over, over the 20 years. And uh, Pete Singleton um, is the main trail boss. Uh, but I do want to give shout outs to both Jennifer and Jeremy Black, who are a really, really big part of this and work hand in hand with him. I'm sure there's other people involved but I'm not aware of those. I know those three people and I know those three people have a big hand in it. Uh, skip stands for 
Soldier Creek Industrial Park, S-C-I-P. So um, they cr began this trail and uh, we've had for the last three years, I'm, I'm saying three, but I'm really not sure. I'm pretty sure it's about three. My time frames get so skewed because I've been doing this for a while and it could be it could be two years, it could be four, and I just lose that time. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's about three years um, with the development. Probably, I mean, really been a solid trail for like two and a half. Um, completed, completed. And you've had three miles up until just a few weeks ago, and you've been having some work done, but uh, the official veiling, I guess, happened a week ago, and Skip has now opened up phase two. So... Basically, we have a uh, mountain bike trail and um, started out small, uh, got some, uh, you know, grants, um, Pete, Jeremy, Jennifer, uh, Jeremy is tossing out Brandon Bundy um, is also a main driving force behind the trail development. And um, so they've had this really cool little uh, three mile loop and uh, it's fairly easy, but that's the whole point. Um, it's fast. It's flowy. Uh, if you want to go smoking fast, you can. If you're a beginner and you want to take your kids out there and you want to put your kid on a, a single track mountain bike trail for the first time and not worry about them getting hurt, this is the perfect place to go. If you're a beginner trying to figure out how to corner and just how to ride your bike, it's a great place to go. Um, if you want to you know, be a cat one like Jeremy is and go out there and bust out 10 laps, you can do that too. So uh, it's a pretty, pretty slick little place. Sorry, I'm distracted, but I have like three of my neighbors riding bikes around my neighborhood. So I keep looking out as I see them going by. So, you know, I kind of get, I kind of get stoked every time I see bikes rolling by my house, especially out here in the sticks here in Hobart. Um, but I, uh, where I want to go with Skip though, is they have entered phase two. And with phase two, they have, um, they hired a company with through grants and matching funds through, um, uh, Midwest city and, uh, Matt and, and, and then tr working trail out volunteer hours, um, all kinds of different things. I don't want to get into the details because I'm sure that I will completely butcher it because I read an article and I really, I have personally not been involved. Um, it's just that it's friends of mine and I'm, um, that I care for and, and uh, it's, it's, it's something that's important to them. And I just wanted to talk about it because we should, it's a good place to go. Uh, phase two has now created on the North side of East 23rd. So um, if you go there, I guess there's a, there's a East 23rd, which is a road. Uh, there has now been some work done on a pedestrian bridge underneath that. And I think you can ride your bike underneath that and that accesses the phase two, which is three more miles. So now skip, which is uh, originally three miles is now six miles. So you have two sides to ride uh, six full miles to link it all together. Um, professionally built trail uh, on the second part and uh, quite a pretty solid trail crew to take care of day to day things. So um, good stuff. Um, yeah, great people behind it, and um, super, super stoked that um, they now have the distance, which I think will allow people to now to draw them to that. Um, I think three miles is a little bit short, which probably served its purpose because it drew a specific, that draws a specific crowd, which is really great, um, a, a beginner crowd, uh, people that are learning, people that want to they don't want to be out there with all those knuckleheads like me, you know, going fast. They want to be um, a little calmer, but now with six miles, you can have that and still have that. But now you have the distance to draw people um, of all uh, styles of riding. But I might add, it's not just a riding trail. It's hiking, uh, running. Um, so it, it, it's an all, you know, user trail and uh, you're just going to see quite a, quite a bit of use. And I can just see this becoming uh, more and more used. Um, Bluff Creek is a really, really big um, 
trail and mainly because it's such a multi-use trail for all the different user groups. But if you're not there at the right time of day, it's so busy. There's so many people out there. Um, I, I rode out there last week just because I was in the city and I was just trying to get some miles in. I was linking up um, some road and, um, and stuff with a, on my gravel bike with Bluff. And three times I had to stop because I had hikers in the middle of the trail with headphones on going the same direction as me and they couldn't see me. So um, anyway, it's just such, such a highly used trail. Well, I can see this splitting the use and I can see them drawing um, a lot of those users because it's not that much further. Uh, it is a little bit, uh, but I mean, if you're going to drive, might as well go find something a little different and find something that uh, maybe has a little less traffic. So uh, anyway, good stuff. Pete is the man. I love Pete. Pete Singleton's an awesome dude. I've known Pete forever. Angela Corda says hi. Let's see. There you go. Jamie Black, give me some details now that I'm getting down here. Roughly 3.5 miles south of 23rd and about 2.25 to 2.5 on the north side of the loop, working on finishing a permanent connector. So they're working on finishing a permanent connector between the two. So still looking at a solid amount of miles. So that is, that's good. That That's cool. So you're talking, so you're looking at a 20, you know, you're looking at a 25 minute hot lap for a really, some really fast riders up to a 45 to a 50 minute lap for others. So that's a significant lap now. If you do the whole thing, that's cool. I <laughs> think bluff without all the yucky roots <laughs> for sure. Jennifer, <laughs> Awesome. And Jeremy says, after finishing the North Loop, the parking lot has been consistently full. That is great. It's great. Um, you guys have done some really good work out there. And Jeremy and Jennifer, I mean, I know you guys, so I see, I see what you guys do more than anybody else. I know you guys have help, but you're my friends. Uh, we all ride for Bike Lab. And so because of that, I see, I see, what the, I see the work that you guys are doing out there. Uh, more so than I do other people. And I just want to commend you guys on that. And, um, you, you know, you're, 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 you're caring and, and, and love for the trail shows. And that's what it takes. You guys are, you guys are killing it. All right. So we talked about Thermal Thursday and Thunderbird Thursday, but Jennifer Black says, looks like we have Wednesday nights at Skip. So come on out to Skip now that we have extra miles. Come and go as you like. Ride, then hang out and drink beer afterwards. We will be there tomorrow. So who knows? Maybe I could sneak down to the city again now that my show's over. and If I can get laundry done in the morning and get up there. I haven't been home in a, I haven't been, I haven't been home in a week, so i got to get some laundry done. I pulled a, I pulled a, a full college moment uh, this weekend. So, um, I was in the city. I didn't really have a place to do laundry. I was hanging out with my girlfriend and she's staying in an Airbnb temporarily until she moves into her apartment. So, uh, we did 4th of July with my parents and we brought a bag of dirty clothes to do laundry during 4th of July at my mom's house. That was such a college move, <laughs> but you know, it worked. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, Paul Dyer says, I think Ralph Chappelle took that picture. I believe it is a real picture. The truck is holding. Oh, really? You think it's a real picture? I thought it was like a, I thought it was like a, uh, a depth picture. Like the, the bobber was in the, in the foreground and the truck was in the background. I'm going to have to go back and relook at that picture now, Paul. So Paul is talking about a, one of our roadside observities picture that I talked about with the truck and the bobber. I'm so going to have to go back and revisit that now. I probably didn't have my, my reading glasses on when I looked at it and I was on my phone. So I probably couldn't see it where the crap because I'm blind. So I'll pull it up on my computer when I can actually see it correctly. <laughs> Michael Bond, hot dogs taste better at Outlaw Creek. You know, we need to do something on Outlaw Creek too. I know um, 
you guys do a great job out there. I, I've been out there a few times, but it's just time frame for me. I, I struggle to get up, you know, do that. I know you guys have Tuesdays in the trees, have, have been for a while. It uh, seems like that's really, really revitalized. So um, that that's pretty cool. Um, I'm, you know, I'm stoked that um, that's still rocking and rolling. Um, had a little downtime, I think, last year, just some things. But Tuesday in the trees at um, um, Outlaw Creek definitely seems to be picking her back up. So, and uh, Jeremy's replying to Mike. Uh, Mike Pickle, thanks, Jeremy, for doing that. Stephen Cordes, I know you're. I know you're watching. You checked in a minute ago, and you put a clock on there. We're at forty minutes. I got nothing else unless you have like a, you probably, you're probably holding back a question right now just to irritate me, um, just to get me on a soapbox. I don't think I'm going to fall for it though. We're so close. I'm going to check, I'm gonna, let me check YouTube real quick. I think I'm solid on YouTube. No comments. I'm actually paying attention. Last week I forgot to pay attention. I'm missing comments on YouTube. I apologize for that, guys. But I have two screens and I have two, I'm, I'm doing two feeds live at the same time. Facebook Live is my main one. So, okie doke. Let's see. Okay, so see, there's another one Kelly Farms. Kelly Farm Trails. Wednesday's a skip, Thursday's a T Bird, or if you're in the neighborhood, Thermal Thursday in Wichita Falls. And every other Friday at Kelly Farm. So there you go. We 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 have things. We have things to do. Oh, Jay Black. Cheers, bro. Okay, I'll get my laundry done and I'll I'll head to the city tomorrow. Not that I need much of an excuse to do that, so I mean I've only been home for a day, so need to go see my girlfriend again. So, <laughs> so I'll just come back to the city and we'll go ride bikes tomorrow. So we're going to do that. I'm ready. Uh, 42 minutes. I've got no more topics. Um, figure out a plan for next week for the topic. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a remote side. I need to do something fun, fun next week. I don't think I'm going to have anything new really cropping up for next week for my show. Um, we're kind of in limbo. Um, so I want to throw it out to you guys. If you guys have any good stories or anybody that you think I need to go talk to, um, someplace that I could do a remote site from and, um, or some interesting um, character that I could uh, just sit down and have a chat with and have some drinks with, let's, let's make it happen. I want to, I want to do something different to my, uh, next week. Um, not, not our, not my general show. I need to, I need to go out on a limb. I need to, I need to, need, need to, Need to go something different. So I'll throw some, you know, throw that out to you guys. Throw me some ideas. Um, I'll throw out some ideas and see if I can come up with something. But we'll find something fun for next week. And then we'll uh, do the wizard show uh, remotely somewhere, hopefully. So awesome. All right, ladies and gents. Till next week, we will see you later. <laughs>